Chinese leaders call Liu Xiaobo a criminal plotting to overthrow the state. But outside China, the Nobel Peace Prize winner is a respected human rights activist. Liu helped coordinate 1989's Tiananmen Square demonstrations. Then, two years ago, he co-wrote Charter 08, a petition calling for multi-party democracy in China. For that, he's serving 11 years in a Chinese jail cell for state subversion. What he did that was different was not simply to talk about political reform, but to try to organize uh, a resistance. Liu's wife, Liu Xia, is also paying a heavy price for her husband's work. She's under strict house arrest. CBS News was barred from going near her apartment. Liu Xiaobo and Liu Xia are well known, but thousands of other political prisoners in China remain hidden from the spotlight. Those deemed enemies of the state endure house arrests, face secret trials and lengthy prison sentences, or they simply disappear. Uh, Gao Zhisheng, a self-taught lawyer who fought government corruption, was kidnapped by security forces in 2009. There were over a hundred police always watching our house. Our home was like a prison, Gao's wife says. His family then fled to the U.S. Gao briefly resurfaced in March before being abducted again. Many now fear he's dead. Another activist, uh, Feng Zhenghu, is paying a heavy price for his battle against state corruption. Feng spent over three months inside Tokyo's Narita Airport when Chinese authorities banned him from boarding a plane home. When Beijing finally relented, Feng was placed under house arrest in Shanghai. He describes being guarded 24-7 as mental torture. I could be jailed at any time using any excuse, he explains. Police regularly break Feng's mobile phone data chips and illegally seize his computer equipment. But Feng's biggest worry? His family's safety. I have buried my love for my family deep, deep down, he says. I can't show it because the agents I deal with are very cruel. If they detect your weakness, they will hit it hard. China's history of dissent is a long one. From his prison cell, Liu Xiaobo dedicated the Nobel he won today to the tank man and other Tiananmen protesters. And that's encouraging to many in China who want the global spotlight shined once again on the country's lack of political freedom. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing.